Hello all, welcome back. Thanks for your comments, subs and likes. Right, I'm gonna uh, sort out my French climbing beans. A few of them haven't come up. So I'm gonna look inside the pots and possibly repot the chitted that I've got in my seed box. And I'll uh, give you a look in there as well. A few things have started to come up now. These are the French climbing beans. And as you can see, three of them haven't come up. Let's have a feel, see if I can. Well, there's a big root there. The bean's still alive, actually. Hmm. I have no idea why it's going downwards. So I will uh, dig these out. Yeah, they're growing downwards. I, I broke one, so I think that one is just the one that I broke. So, right, I will uh, repot these in a minute, and I will get one of my beans from in here that I've shitted uh, already. yesterday and uh, he said that I asked him if he wanted some so you can have the rest but I'll pick one of these and uh, plant it in there I want to uh, pot up these three small tomatoes those are the ones that I found in the uh, compost once I tipped out the seed tray that I planted I've got well another little money maker coming up there and I've got a few golden sunrise now and at long last I've got one cucumber at the moment so yeah Right, I'll get these uh, potted up, get one more in there, and then we go from there. I've uh, replanted them to French climbing beans. I've put another one in there, because there was nothing in there, because I broke that stalk off when I was trying to get it out a couple of days ago. So I've replanted that one. I've uh, replanted these tomatoes as well, nice and deep as well, so they should be good. I'll give them a little water as well. I've been emptying this water bag because it's got loads of uh, soil and stuff at the bottom of it, but like all water bags, it's got the tap like three inches from the bottom of it. So what I've done to get most of it out is I've put a load of bricks in there. So I'm just waiting for that to drain off. Then I'll do a bit more watering with that. Then I'll clean that butt out with fresh water, get it nice and clean. All right, I just used that last bit of a water butt. And I looked at these, look at the black fly on that. They weren't like that yesterday when I looked, so I'm gonna have to get the old uh, soap wash out and give them a good wash off. But that is only since yesterday. These were clean yesterday. So, yeah, I'm gonna take the top of that out. Actually, that one. 
point I'll get my soap wash and give these a good wash, I think. I've given them a uh, soap wash, tried rubbing them, and rubbing them off as best I can, but there is a lot on there. So we'll have to see how we go with these ones, I think. But my uh, seed broad bean is doing okay. Not so many uh, black fly on them. I've pinched out most of the tops now. So, yeah. But we're definitely going to have some broad bean seeds for next year. Plus, I'll probably be able to... Uh, eat some of these this year as well but we'll see how we go i'm gonna move this and then get this totally emptied and washed out right i've emptied that uh water bat out now i'm just starting to refill it got most of the junk out there's still a bit in there but yeah all right i've got these uh white pipes I found a couple now so and I've got there was a turnip and swede in there but someone said that it might be the older pigeons getting at it so I've got that pipe in I've got some more netting over there my uh, swede that I've grown on in the pots that I said I was doing so I've got four nice size swede there now and I've got three turnips at the back of here that are doing quite good so I will get you a uh, Set up, put you on a time lapse and get all of them planted out and covered up with netting. Right, there was a puddle of water there, but I put my swede and turnip in it and uh, well, it soaked away or whatever. But when I was uh, moving these swedes, I could feel them on my arms. So they were tingling a little bit. So if you don't know, some people get uh, burnt by the Swede if it just rubs on your skin. If you haven't seen that before, check out uh, Terry King's about his Swede. He got burnt by him a few years ago, quite bad. So. I've got a uh, long sleeve top over there that I'm going to have to wear because I could feel them on my skin. But there was swede and turnip in here that has been, well, eaten by either slugs or pigeons. Because if you look, all the leaves have been stripped off and I saw old McDarby's farm and he showed the difference between them being netted and open in the ground and it looked like that so it is possibly pigeons as well so I'm gonna to have to dig that raspberry out as well but I've got my pipe and this stuff ready so I'll get that top on and get that swede and turn it planted and then I'll get a net over the top.
Cause I got something to prove I gotta take what I hate and finally make a move I think of you and all the shit you don't do Well I'ma make hella shit that I don't become you I have no regrets, yeah I'll tie up my chest I'll never forget what it's like to be in debt Been stabbed in the back, bed. I'll show you what happens Pass me the mic and I'll show you with action I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own I feel this pain, you already know Turn that to games, let my money show I've got these things that I can't let go Watch me turn this life into something that you could never own that Sweden turnip out now I've got some piping I've got some netting so I will give them a water before I net them up I'll net them up and then I'll come back but I decided to uh, these are the pinks that I planted up so I've got one on top of the chimney pot that I'm forcing the uh, rhubarb with and I've decided to put the other marigolds and white carnations on top of this water butt. So, yeah, why not, eh? The uh, spuds are going quite well now as well. I have uh, caught a few slugs in here now, so they are starting to grow back now but they're rocketing away let's have a quick look at the uh, strawberries they should be uh, getting ready pretty soon these are uh, pine berries got a few berries on them got quite a lot of flowers as well so still quite a lot of them to come not quite ready yet really not soft enough for my liking let's have a look at the uh, the uh, strawberries they're doing quite well but no red ones yet but they are coming slowly this one here these uh, giants they're starting to throw out some runners so obviously i don't think they're going to uh give me any crop this year but they're most certainly going to give me some uh, runners for next year now this one will looks like this one's going to give me a few but as you can see i've got quite a few to come now so I think those ones over there were my neighbours that he gave me last year. So this will be the first time that they've been planted out. So, but we're definitely going to get some runners from them. So, yeah, like I say, the old spuds look like they're doing all right as well. So, my uh, neighbour was cutting his grass earlier. So I was sort of recording in between him. But as you can see, he's put his grass in here like normal, so that's good. So, there you go. Quite a lot of grass in there, so I will probably tip some of this in, actually, before 
any more grass grows in goes in there grows in there goes in there this is my carbon this is just like a hamster bedding that my neighbor gives me as well so i will probably i'm gonna tip some of that in there so it's gonna have a nice layer of um carbon on top of that now right i've put that hamster bedding in there it has started to uh, break down itself but hey that'd be good as i say i'm using that for my browns so yeah right. that's that till the next time hopefully i'll get some more hamster bedding soon because that was all of it now if not i've got some uh, cardboard i've got there or i can go around the shop and layer it with cardboard I went into a pound shop and I got some of these, there's 16, there's some that are quite big and some are small, but they were only like a pound, one pound for 16 packs, so that's quite good, so yeah, only a pound, so I'm obviously I'm going to use these to uh, clip this netting up. I'm not so much worried about the sides really, I'm more worried about the top to try and disguise it from the pigeons. So I'll clip this up and then I'll show you. I got that netting on there, it's not quite big enough but it's covered most of it. If that gap there becomes an issue with pigeons getting in that little bit, then I'll net it up, but I don't think it will now. Alright, I've found this onion in my cupboard that's uh, started shooting, so I'm going to uh, get some soil in here and plant this in it, and hopefully I can get some onion seeds from this. So all I'm going to use actually is uh, my sieve compost. So I will just uh, fill this up and uh, place the onion on top. And uh, hopefully we can get this to seed. So I can have some onion seeds for next year. I know I never really get much luck with them. But we will see what happens. Uh, that's all I'm going to do with it. It's got quite... I'll put a little bit of water around there. But I don't want to do too much. Because uh, I don't want to rot the onion. And I will just... Uh, Place it over there and see how we go. These are two pots that I uh, sowed some Alsa Craig onions in. As you can see, nothing has come up. I never really had much luck with uh, onion seeds, but a hey, I've put that one over there and we we'll see how we go with them next year. Alright, I'm going to take all of these netting off and I'm going to clean up the uh, underneath leaves, especially on these brussels because they are quite low to the ground as you can see. So I'm going to clean up the bottom leaves so they're not on the ground. But anyway, right, I'll show you a little bit better when I've uh, got all of these netting off. Right. I'll show you what I'm going to do. As you can see, some of them are quite low to the ground. 
that's all I'm gonna do is just take off the bottom leaves. And hopefully that'll uh, help with the slugs. Yeah. I'm just gonna take off the bottom leaves, clean them up a little bit. And obviously all of these leaves can go into my uh, compost bin then. make them look a bit better but some of them have got a leaf miner on them like that but hey that should make them a little bit easier to water as well Ooh. so yeah I'll just go around, look, this one's been eaten quite a bit, so we'll take them bottom leaves off. <coughs> and that one, a bit of weeding while I'm here. And as I said, I'm gonna take uh, these ones off as well, off of the bottom. That one's dying, so that can come off as well. So that all the leaves are off of the ground. And that should help with slugs. Not to uh, decimate them too much. Just like that. Because them bottom leaves are going to rot off anyway. So we take them off now before they start rotting and then the uh, bottom of them should be nice and clear right I'll get on and do the uh, rest of them like these and then I'll come back right I've stripped off them uh, cabbage and brussels sprout leaves on the bottom might not look that much different but they are i'll give them a water in a, in a minute while well, i've got the net off because it's quite warm today again but as you can see a lot of the leaves are off the ground now so well except for that one we'll have that one as well <laughs> And that one, but yeah, a lot better now. They're not uh, touching the ground, so they're less likely to rot now. And hopefully that'll help with the slugs because it's not got green leaves rotting to encourage the uh, slugs and snails. Right, I'll give these a both a quick water because they're wilting a little bit and I'll get the uh, netting back on I might see if I can straighten that one up with a bamboo or something but yeah right I'll get them water these then right I've given them a quick water I have actually uh, moved it out a little bit closer to the uh, framing of the cabbage and I've also lifted them up a bit so hopefully my net will be uh, tall enough to go down the top but anyway right I'll get these uh, nets back on now right that's all of them covered back up now as I said I have lifted these so yeah, it's still under netting luckily, but yeah, it's better than what it was. I've widened it as well, so it's not so close to them, but it's still a little bit close on that side. 
in that side, but yeah, it's given them a bit more room to grow. So they should be good from now on, to be honest. But we will see how we go. If I get any more dead leaves on them or whatever, then I'll just uh, take them off. As you saw, I never put a uh, bamboo cane on here. But hey, it's all right. Doesn't matter if it's a bit wonky, as long as it's holding the net up, that'll do. Well, I haven't used all of them bricks that were on there before, so I can stack them up somewhere, nice and neat. I still need to put that cabbage and the leaves and what have you still in that top compost bin. But I did um, manage to weed out that bed. I will show you the uh, picture now of what it was like before. As you can see, it's quite, um, well, it's very weedy with loads of grass in it. But this is what it is like now. It's a lot cleaner, a lot better. I've got a strawberry growing in the middle of my uh, gladioli. The gladiolis are in pots actually, so I could dig out the pots and uh, or pot and see what's in there. But there's probably loads of little bulblets. But there you go. It's a lot cleaner now. This is my. Uh, this is a white fuchsia, and these are the uh, hookara. I took the uh, cuttings off of. But, yeah, not a lot in there. There's the uh, one of the palms. And there's the other palm. That one's quite a big chunky. Uh, it's got a big um, stem on it. Or, yeah, so you have to be pretty careful of these because they are pretty evil, but looks a lot better now that well, looks like the um lilies are starting to come out now as well which is good can't remember what these are but these have started to uh come out now as well rows that I put there that I want to train all the way along that fencing bit but yeah foxgloves are doing quite well as well I like this one this is probably my favorite one because of the color not just um, plain white but the uh, apples have set quite well as well look as you can see so hopefully we'll have some uh, nice apples again this year but yeah this apple is bad it won't be getting pruned till the middle of august or something like that anyway but we're getting there Still need to take out this box hedge that's got box blight But I'm not gonna dig it out Because it's got bulbs and everything So I'm just gonna um, Snip them off at ground level And just leave the roots in there and then they're just rot down All right, thanks for watching commenting and subscribing and uh, don't be shy hit the subscribe right catch you later bye